Welcome everybody to another episode of City Skylines Unmodded with me, Iflex. On the previous episode, we kind of prepared an area of the city for more industrial buildings, particularly the warehouses and the unique factories. And I just placed some basic road layout. I also enhanced a bit uh, some of the existing industries, which is agricultural and the ore industry, I was going to say iron ore, <laughs> like I normally say. Um, and, um, and I was thinking about that area and I think we need to do something slightly different than what I started doing on the previous episode. Let me explain. So here, here it is, this area. And if you are uh, vaguely familiar with the way these unique factories work is that they need multiple resources to produce a unique good. I don't know if unique good is the right terminology, but uh, they basically need multiple different sources of products to make one special product. And if I do something like this, where everything is kind of connected to everything, um, those three sources might go in all sorts of directions. What I mean is, I wanted to create something like this, where um, there's only one-way roads connecting the, the sources of those products, of those raw products, into the factory. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, let's use the bakery as an example. If I can find it, is this a bakery? Okay, doesn't really look like a bakery, <laughs> a bakery, but okay. If you see here, you have animal products, crops and flour. And I've plopped some warehouses around here with those goods. So this one, this warehouse has flour and this one has the animal products and then there was some silo here, here it is, with the crops. And here they can go in any direction and just access the, um, the bakery, which then, and I still need to double check this, um, will go to the commercial areas. Commercial areas will consume goods, sorry, commercial areas will con consume these goods, pastries, and also be used to export. So it makes sense that these trucks are kind of guided towards from the warehouses towards the factories and from the factories towards the city or to the external connections. So with that in mind, what I want to do is to have small areas where this can happen, where there is one way road coming from, for example, this um, train station, because a lot of the cargo trains and cargo trucks, sorry, will come from here and then from here they should go to the warehouses and from the warehouses they should go to the factory. So what I want to do in this episode is rework this area a bit so that I can actually implement this. And um, first thing, I want to see how many unique factories we will have to see if this is actually realistic. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. Mm. Okay, but um, they all kind of need similar resources. For example, if you see on top of the food factory, they also need animal products and four others. So it's multiple combinations of, let's see the ones I have unlocked. So it's multiple combinations of products that we already store. So what I need to figure out is how many unique resources we produce and then put factories on the path of those unique resources. Yeah, this is just steel. Okay. So I need to figure this one out. Um, and I want to make this being one of the source of trucks. And then from this, multiple one-way roads need to span and they will branch out to the several factories. I don't know exactly how am I going to do this because ideally I would like to keep a central area because I'm, I'm sure I won't be able to direct traffic specifically for every single warehouse, for every single factory. There will be 
routes they need to take that are not that linear so I need to provide them with an alternative which could be this I could put connections like I did here let's take a quick look at the roads you see here so they can they here I'm forcing them to use one way because this generates a lot of traffic but then here they can go left right they can go here they can go there they can go anywhere they want so they have choices but I want to try to create some kind of one-way system to help them reach their destination without having to cross stuff and traffic lights and whatever although here there's no traffic lights anyway hopefully what I said makes sense and I'm going to reorganize this a bit and I'll be right back Okay, so this is more or less what I'm thinking about. Let's take a quick look. So, you are a cargo truck and you have goods for these warehouses. So, you come out here, instead of going to the main roads, you turn here and you have direct connection to the warehouses. And then from the warehouses, which are these three buildings, you can go directly to the bakery. And that's it as one flow no crosses to distribute goods around here and then the output of this will then come to the main road so I'm not too sure about this one because it has traffic lights I might connect this later to these side roads so so I don't have to generate more traffic lights Not here traffic lights here yeah, there are okay so this shouldn't make a big difference though so it will depend how this these junctions these crosses these intersections will function but for now, that's the idea. And then from here, they will also be able, if they need to go to the rest of the city, they have a choice to come here and go back to the train with the finalized goods. So with the pastries, what do they call this? I know this symbol what it is. So Okay, so these are raw materials. And this is whatever. I'm calling it uh, processed goods, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But hopefully it makes sense. So now what I'm going to do is the same for the other industries or, or um, factories that we can build. So this one needs this one needs 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 metals. Okay, and that's kind of it. So I'm going to start putting more buildings around here for warehouses, making sure they have one-way roads to their factories, and hopefully this will help massively with traffic. Hopefully. Again, these crosses here, this kind of cross I have here that has a lot of these intersections might not be ideal. For example, this one is a four-way intersection, which is something I don't normally like, but we'll see. I'm going to start to populate these areas over here, and then I'm going to continue on the other direction, and then we'll see. We'll see how this develops. So far, it's not, there's not a lot of movement around here, look. Trains are already trains. Trucks are already using this. Yeah. And what I want to do is something like this. So I want to create. You see what I have here? All these intersections of roads and stuff. I absolutely love this. I love this. Um, I'll call it organized spaghetti <laughs> uh, connections and roads and railroads and all that stuff. And here I want to create something similar. For example, what I'm thinking is so these are mostly for the bakery goods. And what I want is for the, the metals, for the ores, for example. Let me pause this because I'm going to uh, cut the power lines. Is to do something like this. Like this. Page down. Oops too much down and something like this and then I'll fill these gaps with parking lots or some other industrial looking buildings 
and the traffic this way gets naturally load balanced so that not all the trucks have to go through this road and makes this like extremely busy and since we have like four different areas or, or industry types I will want to have four dedicated roads for those types so this side for example will be the bakery or the food related buildings this will be the or related buildings and here forestry for example and it oil so I would then extend one road here and I put maybe another road there for example I hope it makes sense so I want to create something complex like this because I think it looks cool as long as it makes sense I don't want to complicate things obviously that's rarely complicating th something is a good idea but I want to make this area look busy without uh, being chaos if it makes sense and now I cannot connect these two things here so I'm going to plop something like this for now because when I put more buildings here it will it will connect the power automatically so I hope this makes sense I will uh, now try to create similar for the um, or industry factories and I'll be right back This is a huge <laughs> building. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to reorganize all of this area because yeah, there's still 16, 14 of those, a total is 16, if I counted right. So these are two and we still have <laughs> 14 more to plop. Yeah, I think probably both of these areas will be filled up with this. <laughs> it's look at this. <laughs> look at this monster it's a beautiful monster but still it's ooh, a huge freaking building look at the size of this but it's so beautiful building i love these big factories for some reason they always fascinated me with these big chimneys it's so cool really these devs made such a great game it's unbelievable I can't imagine a period before this game. It's just City Skylines. It's it's just an amazing, amazing milestone in terms of gaming for this type of city builder games. It's uh, what an amazing game. Look at the detail, AC and some whatever that is. <laughs> no, it's just look at the amount of detail that goes into these buildings. Look at this, I don't know, uh, let's see if I can zoom in. So I don't know what this is, maybe some safety warnings or something like that. It's an unbelievable game. Anyway, yeah, so I just want to pause a little bit just to, to show you how big this is. And I learned something, by the way. I learned that these things, I thought I could select the type of goods that this um, storage store but only the warehouses allow me to choose and unfortunately there's only four types of warehouses and uh, yeah there's not a lot of resources actually or is there let's take a quick look because i just want the raw resources uh, i'm lost oh, here it is so here i should have 
I should have metals and here I should have glass yeah okay this is this is not also not a lot of of raw materials yeah so we're talking about one two three four five six seven eight oh oh yeah and why this oh yeah paper and timber okay so i'm just wondering where, where were the other resources so i guess the forestry will produce paper and timber and the oil industry will produce petroleum and plastics yeah okay yeah so that's how i'm planning this and hopefully this will work out just fine so what what was i storing here metal so this should be glass yeah yeah and now i just need to connect roads to this monster what i want to do is to put a road around here so this road is not used for both the bakery and uh, what's this called the industrial steel plant so i'm going to keep doing this um and probably have to destroy some more roads and stuff and i'll be right back Okay, these buildings are freaking huge. Look, this is a lemonade factory. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Look how big this is. So, yeah, so I created two areas of warehouses so far. So this is the uh, animal, the agricultural uh, goods area, and this is the ore goods area. And this needs crops and glass. So crops are here. So if you're a truck here to get to the lemonade factory, you need to go through here. So this should be okay, although this cross might, yeah, this might not be ideal, but we'll see. And then it also needs glass and glass will come from here. So the trucks will come through here, 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 and here. So hopefully this will work. And then the output will come to here and then if the tracks want to go to the main city, they go through here. If they want to take the train, they get it here. And uh, yeah, and that's it. So I'm going to continue doing this for the other factory. The next factory is the electronics factory, <sighs> which I can't because it needs plastics. Those three white balls, I think it's plastic. And this plastic again, so I guess I cannot put any more. This also needs plastic. This needs timber and stuff, and this needs everything. Yeah, okay. So yeah, guys, I hope this is making sense. This is what I'm trying to do, and uh, create these potentially more complex than they need to be kind of roads. <laughs> but I genuinely, I, I love it. I love to see a busy area like this that doesn't interfere with anything, that doesn't back up traffic, you know? And let's try to... can I make this slightly curved? Let's see if I can... No, I can And if I just... Uh, if I stretch it a bit like this, can I? No, I can Okay, screw it then. I said screw it. Let's try to do this again. This time should work. Okay. Now I just need to invert the direction here. Yep, and that's the overall idea. And what's going on here? Oh yeah, yep, yeah, okay. 
And I'll see, when we start plopping the other buildings, we will see. And then all these gaps, I'll fill them either with paths or with parking lots, just to make it look a bit more um, industrial looking. Let's unpause the game and let's see how this is going to work out. This doesn't look too bad, it's not backing up too much. Sometimes a bit here, sometimes a bit here, this is perfectly normal for an industry area. Yeah, and this is the only path a lot of these trucks can take to actually exit. So it backs up a bit here. I think that's it. I might create an alt alternative potentially if this becomes a problem in the future but so far it it does back up a bit but not too much it still flows now yeah, we'll see I'll keep I'll keep my eyes on it alternatively what I might do is uh, terraform this a bit so I can put a cargo train station connect some of these roads here and then figure out a way to pass the rail track up to somewhere here yeah it should connect to this actually yeah I might yeah I might have to change this a bit yeah if this becomes a, uh, a real problem and uh, I uh, as I'm looking at it now yeah it's starting to back up it's starting to back up yeah because then the trucks went to the warehouses and now they are coming back so this back and forth, it's going to generate a lot of traffic, which is already happening a bit. Still not too bad, it's not too bad, it still flows. Yeah, I think I might have to do this in the next episode, but we'll see. Let's take a look now at the destination. That's the source of the trucks. Here, how are we looking? Here looks good. Yeah, here looks good. Yeah, this looks good here. And how are we in terms of resources? Is it filling up? Okay. It's something, glass. And here, how are we here? Put it normally. And here as well. Let's see this. Yeah, okay. I just need to keep my eyes on this. So this shouldn't be a big problem. It's quite busy here, but traffic seems to flow nicely as we add more factories and <laughs> we'll see how big of a problem we might have. But for now it looks good. This is a potential problem. But you see now it's good, then it gets a bit more busy. Hmm, we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, I think that's it for this episode, guys. I think... Um, we found a efficient way of dealing with these buildings with the warehouses and the factories and yeah and as it grows we'll see uh oh but you don't have crops okay are we producing a lot of crops mm, let's take a quick look yeah we should be producing a lot although they these fields seem to be mostly empty i think i have some storage around here Uh, and this is not storage, this is the main building. I have no storage around here. I thought I had. Yeah, the agricultural buildings seem to be a bit uh, the most complex. Hmm, I don't have any storage here. That can't be right. Uh, let's take a look. Little houses are all buildings that produce stuff. Ah, uh, I can put a large grain silo. Or a barn. Ah, I think I have a barn somewhere. Let's take a look. Apparently not. Then I should plop it somewhere. 
They, these wheels have already have a barn. Yeah, a barn won't look good here. A barn would look good if I put um, a bunch of these small sections. Like here. Oh no, this is next to the train station. No, this not look this not going to look good. Here it is. Here it is a barn. Okay, I I did I did remember well. It's still just one building though. I probably should put more. Yeah. Where though? I think here is a nice corner. Let's see if I can squeeze something in here. Mm, okay, this is quite big. And this is quite small. Then maybe I just plop one here? But I have something here, now it's empty. Okay, I think this is a good place for it. Yeah, I put one here. May I put another one here. Okay, just a small silo. And actually... Uh, a big silo will probably fit this area better. Yeah. Sorry, you need to be moved. Maybe here? Yeah, why not? Yeah, it looks good. Now I put another one here. Okay. So now we'll see if this fills up. And uh if we don't have problems with the crops anymore, apparently we need more crops. Shall I plop a few more? I should probably extend here. Can I extend this area here? Do we have fertile land? Not really, no. We have fertile land in this direction. Well, that's settled then. Let's plop a few more just in this direction. crops yeah, and we'll see if this is enough you yeah, know well, the agricultural area really has uh, I think the most complex layout because there's a lot of different buildings to produce animal products and this is getting quite busy already holy crap look at this <laughs> holy crap and it's all for this right yep it's to fill up the, the, the silos. I think once they are filled up, this number <laughs> will be reduced. Holy crap, look at this. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Yeah, we are good. We are good here with this, yeah. These silos, oh. Gee, <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, but, well. I think it's just this period where I just plopped and they need to be filled up. Generates more traffic, I think. We'll see. Yeah, it still needs to. So this can take 600 tons and the small ones can take half of it. Okay. Even though this looks much bigger than this, but it's okay. Yeah, I think it doesn't look too bad. Our factory area in the rain yeah looks pretty cool here it's a bit weird the fence but I'm not too bothered I don't want to terraform this area this doesn't bother me too much it's just the fence the building itself looks pretty normal and it's fine you might have you know you might find yourself with fences in weird places although look <laughs> you could go underneath the fence let me hide this <laughs> Let me hide this with a, a tree. Yeah, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> Can I put like some bushes around here? Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, you're right there. there. Oh, I can't. Every time I click, it disappears. Okay, then here. Yeah, is this stupid? Yeah, I don't think this tree should be here. Okay, this kind of hides it better, a bit. <laughs> if you're a thief, you're trying to find a, a place to enter a 
bypass the fence and you're like oh maybe here no there's a plant here so obviously <laughs> there's no weak point here <laughs> oh god okay and look at this there's a gap here i guess this is part of the design it's not because it's crooked right yeah look here it's flat and it's just open okay why are there these gaps on the on the fence okay I guess this is by design and I guess I don't need to put the uh, what's happening here uh, sorry I don't know what happened with my mouse cursor so yeah it's not perfect but <laughs> I think with this plant it, it's a bit better <laughs> and yeah guys I think this is a very productive episode we are trying to create something that um, looks interesting at least to me which is a very 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 much busy area around here and um, hopefully we won't have too many traffic issues and the next episode will probably focus on the oil industry if we don't have any issues with traffic or anything else that requires our urgent attention so thanks for watching and i'll see you again very very soon bye